Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to do recommendations for the Sephora sale. It starts tomorrow. Oh my goodness, it's the spring Sephora event. They have a couple of year. Starts tomorrow for Rouge, y'all. And it's 20% off at the Sephora. <laughs> so 4 9 to 4 12 is when first access is for Rouge. So Rouge gets first access, they um, get 20% off, and that's from 4 9 to 4 12. And then on 4 13 VIB, they get 15% off. It's 4 13 through 4 19. And then Insider is 10% off. 415 through 419 2021. The code is OMG Spring. So I'll put everything right here so you can see it as well. But we're going to do recommendations, y'all. And I have been working on this. I've been trying. It's really hard. <laughs> it is so hard because there's so many things I like. But I want to recommend things that I feel. I want to provide different recommendations for different skin types and things like that so that you guys will have a thorough list of things to go through. Not everything's going to suit everyone, but you know, I wanted to be able to try to get a lot in this video. So there are a few things. I did create this look with some of the recommendations. If there is a clip of me applying it, I will put that in here if, if I used it today, but some I just am going to tell you about, you know? All right. Are we ready? Grab you, grab you a little cup of coffee or something. Cause let's do this. Okay. I thought we'd start with a little bit of skincare. I have some skincare in here. I have some here with me. Some I'll just tell you about. Okay. We good. <laughs> All right. A cleanser. Now, a recommendation from a cleanser perspective, I love the fresh soy. I'll put pictures here if I don't have them right readily available with me. The fresh soy cleanser, so good. I keep it in the shower. I love the one in the pump because it, you know, you're not using too much. Really nice. I feel like that's just a great standard cleanser. Now, if you are looking for a micellar water, this is the this is a newer product by Codely. This is their Vino Clean lotion, and it's a moisturizing toner. And it's kind of like a micellar water too, where it will complete the makeup removal process. If that makes sense, I really like this, y'all. I really like it a lot. And um, this one was gifted, just FYI. But I do really like it. It's it's just great. It has. It says it's made, it's 99% natural ingredients. It's vegan, no parabens. Let's see, it's in a different language. One second. No parabens, PEG, silicones, phthalates, minerals. Oh, okay, so it is, it completes the makeup removal process, moisturizes in tones, leaving skin fresh, clean, and soft. Apply morning and evening with a cotton pad. No need to rinse. So this is just so nice. It's easy. It's nice to just kind of, you cleanse your face, right, with a cleanser. And then you can go back over this with just the final, you know, last bits of dirt and grime that are, or makeup that are in your pores or whatnot. I really like it. So I would highly recommend the Caudalie. Another product that I have used for, I feel like years now, has it been that long? Oh my gosh, I've gone through this so much. It's the Polyglutamic Acid by The Inky List. It's very affordable. I love it for hydration. I really enjoy this. Now, in order to use this, I do spray like um, my Chantecaille Rose Water on top or whatnot, but this is just great. I've been gifted a few. I've bought a few. I repurchase this. It's always a staple in my kind of skincare regimen or whatnot. And I really enjoy this. It's a great, great product. Now, the Inky List, y'all, they have some amazing products if you're looking for a more affordable skincare option, especially at Sephora. I really enjoy a lot of their products. So if you're looking for those types of things, the Inky List has a lot of great options. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me or whatnot on Instagram or ask them in the comments below. I'm happy to help. Next up, a product that I am 
I really, really love. And I use this either as a primer for makeup or I'll just put it on before or after a moisturizer. So this is the Watery, the Youth Watery Oil by Guerlain. And this it has just the most amazing texture, meaning that it's not too oily, it's not too watery, it's just that right kind of mix if that makes sense you know like you put on an oil and you're like is it gonna sink in is it gonna sink in <laughs> like I'm I'm one of those people who doesn't have like an hour to wait for stuff to sink in if that makes sense so this sinks in it doesn't feel super oily on the skin at all if you're wanting a great primer for makeup if you have drier skin I and just to let you guys know I have a drier skin type so for me that is, I just, I'm, I'm going to be apt to reach for a more moisturizing type product. So that, just keep that in mind when I'm recommend, recommending things, okay? But this Girl On Watery Oil is, it's pricier, but it's, it's good. I love it. If you're looking for lip balms, I would recommend these glowy, the Lip Glowy Balms from Laneige. These are really great, you guys. I have two of them. I have this one and the purple one, but I don't even know, I don't know where that one went. I had it here and now it's gone. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> but I really do like those. I think they're really hydrating. They're great for at night or even during the day if you're just throwing something in your bag. It, I like the applicator because you know you can apply it. You can apply it without having to stick your finger in a tub of stuff, and that's just nasty, personally. Um, I don't like that. So, yeah, so those are really great, too. I, there's a new one that I really want to try. Like, I need another lip balm, but I do want to try it. It's by Laneige. I, I like their stuff. They have really good stuff. Um, stuff that I've tried, of course. Um, Another product that I really have been trying and loving is this La Mer Lip Balm. Guys, this stuff is so good. They gifted this to me. It's the Lip Volumizer. I wouldn't say it, it has this like massive plumping effect or anything like that, but it's a really nice lip balm, y'all. And I mean, it's La Mer. It's pricey, but it's really nice. It is really nice. And I just love the packaging and everything. It's just... I like it a lot. And then last but not least, if you're looking for a good moisturizer for, say, I would say this is a medium weight moisturizer, but this is a great moisturizer, guys. This is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. Mine's almost gone. They gifted this a while back, and it's good. Look, yeah, mine's almost empty, guys. That's going to be an empty soon. But it wears so well under makeup. It has a honey scent. So if you're opposed to honey or anything like that, it smells like honey. I like it, but it's, it's really good. It's really good. I like this moisturizer a whole lot. And I love, I like ceramide. So it's really nice. I love the little, the packaging too. It's like a honeycomb. Yeah. Cute, isn't it? All right. I think we're good with skincare maybe if I think of something else I'll let you know but I think we're good with skincare there are some sunscreens that I would I want to try from Sephora but I just haven't and uh like my favorite sunscreen isn't sold at Sephora I'm loving the Chantecai one so and they don't sell Chantecai at Sephora so um yeah that's skincare. So the first item that I'm going to recommend from a primer perspective, like I said, the Girl on Youth Watery Oil, I use that as a primer. I like it. I really do. Another primer that I've been recently trying that I'm really enjoying is the For Dior Forever Skin Veil SPF 20. It does have SPF in it. I would not use this as your SPF. It is a hydrating primer, yet it does have a little slip to it, just a little, but not too much. It's not like super silicone or anything like that. It's to correct, illuminate, and moisturize. I really enjoy this. I like it a lot. I've been trying it out. I did try it though with my Cojun Doe foundation, and it did not seem to mesh well with that particular foundation. 
So it is pretty specific. I used it with my Air Flash. I've used it with, you know, the new newer Dior, uh, what is it called? The new Dior, um, the new Dior foundation. I really, really enjoy it with that, but it is kind of specific to certain types of formulations. So I'm still trying it, but I really enjoy it with, with those types of formulations. So I wanted to mention it. If you're curious about this product, I do enjoy it. But as a caveat, some, some products it may not work with everything. Just an FYI. I think that's, or two primers, two primers. Yeah. I have a few, I have a few foundations. Now the foundation that I'm wearing today, guys, Coke and Doe sent over a few goodies for me to try. I have not, I've, the only thing I've tried from them is a powder and y'all, the powder I loved, right? This aqua foundation, y'all, I'm wearing it today. I'll show you a clip of me applying it. Y'all, it is gorgeous on the skin. I mean, it is, it's my favorite foundation that I've tried recently. And that's saying a lot. I've tried a lot of really good foundations, I feel like. This though just makes your skin look like skin. It's very beautiful, yet it's not going to cover ever. I mean, you can still see I have, I messed, I messed around with this little guy here and I just couldn't stop. I mean, you think I'd learn my lesson at 36, but you know, <laughs> anyways, I digress. Um, this is great. I love it. It's not a full, full coverage foundation. It's your skin, but better, but it's good. It's like, I mean, I feel like I had this youthful glow to my skin, yet the more I wear it, the better it gets throughout the day. It's gorgeous. I love it. Mine is in the shade one, two, three. I think this is going to be maybe a tad bit light for me for the summer, spring, summer, but for the winter, like fall and winter, perfect shade for me. I don't know. I may need to, I really want to try the other one too. The, uh, there's a new one out and it's in a red bottle and I want to try that one too. I've heard great things, but this just makes your skin look so beautiful and I've been loving it guys and they do sell it at Sephora so I thought I'd mention it and let's see there's no artificial colors fragrance petroleum base mineral oil or parabens it's really nice guys it's really nice and 20% off I might get a deeper shade in this quite frankly because I'm really liking it a lot oh okay so we're gonna do two oldie but goodies okay oldie but goodie is this Dior Air Flash y'all it's so good. It's so good. Mine's in 3N. I feel like it's just a great, it's water resistant. There's a 12 hour wear. It's thin, but like, it's like, it just glides right over your skin. And, but not like mask, not mask light at all. It's like silk on your skin. It's so gorgeous. I love this. The only thing that I would say that is quite unique about this is that it has literally a spray pump and an aerosol can. <laughs> it's, it is intense and I think this scares a lot of people, but honestly, it's not, it's not bad. You just spray it onto your brush. So say I have a foundation brush. I did a reel yesterday. If you want to go to my Instagram and just take a look of how I did apply it, I did a reel on Instagram and I'll leave my, a link to my Instagram below so you can go see it. But yeah, you just spray directly here and then you go to apply. I absolutely love this. I think it's such a great, it's, you know, I hear a lot of people saying they use it, they used it for their wedding, things like that. I don't even know if this was out when I used it. <laughs> I really don't, I don't remember. I, I used Bobby Brown for my wedding, so anyways, we'll go to the next one. The oldie but goodie that I'm, it's not even that old, y'all. It's like if something comes out two weeks ago, go. it's like old news nowadays, I feel like, and it's not. This is a Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Guys, now this is a thicker foundation. You're going to get more coverage with this. I have Y315 and I think I have Y412. So I have two different shades. I've got two shades, I know. But you can do it as thin as you want, like 
as thin as it goes, or you can build it up and get a pretty full coverage foundation out of this. It's dewy, so you're gonna have to powder if you're not into a super dewy foundation, but it's pretty. It is so pretty on the skin. Gorgeous, it brightens, it smooths, and like firms, hydrates, even out, all those things. It does everything it says it's supposed to do. I mean, what foundation does that? This one does. You know, Makeup, is, makeup Forever is a brand I really wanna try more of. I do. I just haven't yet. You know, there are a few brands that I'm really interested in trying more of. I want to try more Lancome. I want to try more Makeup Forever. There, I mean, there were more, but yeah, it's really good. All right, last but not least, I want to share with you that this Fenty Beauty eavesdrop, it's good. This is going to be a different formula, y'all. So we have just like this beautiful serum-like texture, yet it's just your skin, but better. You know what I mean? With the Cojun Do, you have the spray foundation, which makes you look almost like radiant and youthful and beautiful. And it's 12 hour wear and it's water resistant. And it's just a really pretty foundation on the skin. And then you have Makeup Forever, which is going to be a more versatile foundation. You can build it up to more of a full coverage, or you can sheer it out. Whatever you want to do with it, it's great. It's going to give you this more of a, it's a very hydrating foundation. Very hydrating foundation. Then you have the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I picked up the shade 8. It's a bit light for me. A bit light I need shade 9 I believe so I think I'm gonna pick up shade 9 you shake it there are 32 mls in this it's a 12 month shelf life I haven't reviewed it yet so that's coming I want to do a wear test for y'all but goodness at the end of the day I've been cheering it all my stories on Instagram I, I do that y'all if y'all want to come see me there if y'all find me here um, I do do a lot of try-ons and testing out stuff on Instagram too. So if you're curious about different products or whatnot. But this, I mean, it just blends right in. It looks gorgeous. But this is another product. The more, like, the longer you wear it, the better it gets. It is really pretty. Really pretty on the skin. It's, um, it blurs. It does blur, definitely lighter in texture, but it's almost as if it dries down somewhat like a demi matte. And I'm not into like a whole, like you think of skin tint, you think of like, I think of a tinted moisturizer, quite frankly. And this surprised me, it's not like that. It's, it's almost like a, a, a natural, but it's, it's like a natural finish, almost to the point of being matte, but it's not matte like your own, like it's, your skin still radiates. It's wild. It's really interesting. It's very interesting. I'm still working on it, but I would give it a go, guys. If you're interested in this or, you know, have been looking at it, I think it's, it's very interesting. It's kind of cool. Uh, different than, you know, anything out there that I've tried, quite frankly. It's not super, super hydrating yet. It makes your skin look really healthy. It's a healthy look to the skin, and I really like it. I really like it so far. Like I said, eight is a bit light for me, so I think I'm gonna go with the nine, pick that up, and see how that works. So, yeah, <laughs> that's good. Okay, those are all the foundations. We got through foundations, guys. <laughs> Let's move forward. I. I, you know, I don't even remember the way I applied stuff, quite frankly. So we're going to go to concealer. Two concealers that I'm going to recommend are from the exact same brand. They're both from NARS. The NARS, this one's so good, guys. Now, this is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Medium 2 or Ginger. It is so good. It's great for covering those pesky spots like here. This ginger shade is a great shade for me. 
I really enjoy, you know, going over like hyperpigmentation with it. Sometimes I'll use it under the eyes too, just to kind of give a little bit. But if we're going under the eyes, I am loving this NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now this is in the shade Light 2.6, Cafe Con Leche. It's good. You know, this is like a classic cult favorite. It's a staple product, quite frankly. I love the wand applicator. I just love how it looks under the skin. It doesn't look super patchy or too thick or drying. I have small lines. Fine. Blush. Oh gosh. I have a lot of blushes here. <laughs> okay. The one that I have on my cheeks today is from Dior. This is... Oh, so good. This is a Color Awaking Universal Blush Natural Healthy Glow in 001 Pink. I also have it in this coral shade at 004. Guys, oh, this these are so beautiful. I, you know, these are blushes I've had in my collection. You can see me applying the pink here. This, it just is pretty. It's a pretty blush and it just looks good with everything, quite frankly. It's supposed to be flattering to your own pH, I think. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I enjoy it. It's great. There's so many good blushes, y'all, but these Tower 28 blushes, I mean, highly recommend. You can use them on your cheeks, on your lips. This is the Rush Hour shade. I think this is a newer shade from them. Rush Hour, so beautiful. I have another one here. This is called the, goodness, what is that one called? Magic Hour. This one's Magic Hour. Just to kind of show you here. That's Magic Hour. Oh, they're so pretty. I really do like these. I think they look gorgeous on the cheeks and they stay and they're beautiful. And I love the different shades that they have as well. And they're pretty affordable and they're cute, cute packaging. Yeah, I would definitely check this out if you're looking because, I don't know, I, I, I like the multi-use aspect of it too. All right, if you're lo looking at Westman Atelier, they make some amazing blushes, y'all. I love the shade Petal by Westman Atelier. They, these are just fantastic. I wanna try the new one that they have out from, but look at that, it's like a cool tone pink. How beautiful is that? It shears out so beautifully. Oh yeah, it's so pretty. And it just gives a pretty sheen to the cheek too, but it's not too, and I love the clothes, like look at this. It's so satisfying. But it's, it's not too sheer that it's not gonna show. Just a great formulation. They last on the cheeks for me, and I, I really enjoy them the Baby Cheeks blushes. Those are just really pretty. I think from Westman Atelier, the, the, their blushes are amazing. Their lip pod is amazing, which we'll get to, we'll get to. And uh, they just have some great, great products and we'll get to some of their highlighters as well. Things that I would you know, definitely recommend from them for the sale. All right, let's talk bronzer. I have two bronzers here. I know, I, I Cut it down to two, y'all. The one I have on my cheeks, or the one I'm wearing today, is by Huda Beauty. This is the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in Light. It has an 18-month shelf life. You're getting 11 grams in this product. You can see me applying it here. It's phenomenal. It's so good. It just wears really well, too. It blends out beautifully. It gives you enough time, right, to really work with the product because and blend it out so you get a little too much it's pigmented if you get a little too much it's 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 okay it's okay it's pretty much foolproof in that regard but i just love that one i think it's so good i don't think enough people talk about that one frankly and then of course i'm gonna gucci the gucci bronzer is so nice and you know i think for me a lot, it's, it's butter, it's like butter, but I think the shade number three is just so good. It does have a scent, it has that Gucci smell to it. So, if you, be wary if you are not loving scents or anything like that, I just like to make sure people know. But this bronzer has been a staple for me, it has been so good. I 
think a good honorable mention from a bronzer perspective would be the Tarte Seychelles. That's a great bronzer, y'all, too. But I would say this Huda Beauty is, is a lot better, personally. It's, it's, it's a little thicker. It's a little uh, less emollient to where you can, I don't know. It's just, there's something about this one that's so good. Let's talk about powder. This is the Kogan Doe Natural Lighting Powder. Fantastic. My first powder I ever tried from them. It's hands down one of my favorite powders ever. It gives you, it decreases the shine without matte, like super mattifying your face. It looks amazing on. It's so nice. You don't look like you have powder on when you're wearing this. And that's what I like about it because I'm not into a super powdery look just personally because I do have drier skin to begin with and I don't want it to like, I don't want my makeup to look cakey or anything or super makeup-y, you know? So this just does the trick and it's so nice, so nice. So I reach for this a lot and I really enjoy it. Now, these are powders that are, I had not tried for a long time. So many people love them. These are the Guerlain pearls. These are the meteorite pearls, guys, and they are, <sighs> I understand. So this is the limited edition. They're actually both of these are limited edition ones. I need to get the ones that are not limited edition so I can like at least show y'all. But guys, I mean, they are, they have this lavender scent to them and they're so, whoop. They smell so amazing, but they, you can do them all over the face. You can do them as like just a little bit on a highlight. And to my understanding, they are meant to be a finishing powder. I did not know that at first. And I was like, oh, they're like little highlighting beads. And that's not the case. They're supposed to be a finishing powder. They give you this really pretty, almost like heavenly glow. I mean, they are phenomenal. And I really, really like them. This scent dissipates, but it is a pretty, it's a pretty strong lavender smell. But I also have the pink ones. Let's see, these are the pearl glows, excuse me. And guys, I mean, those are those. Oh, I, I really enjoy them. They last forever. I mean, gosh, you could, these will last forever. And they're just good. I mean, they really give your face a really pretty sheen without looking like a, a beam light. I mean, they are, it's like a heavenly glow. It's very, very angelic. And I really like that. You, okay, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but I really want to share, share with you some eyebrow pencils that I just love and adore. Y'all know I use this Gucci one all the time. Now, this is more of a powder finish. I have two shades. The one that I use today, though, is a, I, I like the shade, yet I'm, I think it's a little too deep, but I've used like the whole thing, but when I repurchased, I did get a lighter shade. Now, the shade I, this is 03, the one, I, it doesn't even have, look how small this thing is, y'all, it's so little. These have the best spoolie, spoolie on the end, so good. So amazing. This is a good product, y'all. It, and it makes you, it's like a powder in a pencil. It's great. I'm gonna get another one, a backup. I have the shade two, so I'll show you here. So, all right, so this is shade three here and two here. So you see how the difference? So this is blonde here, and I think this is like, uh, Goodness, I can't remember the name name of this one. It's three though. So just to kind of give you an idea of the difference, this is more of an ashy brown shade. It's it says it's blonde, but I feel like for me that one is more. I don't know. I don't like a super bold brow, and not that this get, gave me a super that brown gave me a super bold brow, but you know what I mean. I don't know. Love those, and I also love the Dior pencil. Now, I have the Dior pencil in two different shades, too, and I, they are actually almost out, so I am going to have to repurchase a new Dior pencil. All right, so here we go. So, this one here is blonde, and this one here is brown. They look very similar. I mean, they do, but I thought the, brown, the blonde would do a little bit better 
This is a very different formula than the Gucci one. Very different. Spoolie's great too. I love the spoolie. <laughs> I think I mentioned in my previous video, if you, if you don't have a good spoolie, then you're out. <laughs> but I really like this one because it allows you to get more defined hair-like strokes within, you know, within your eyebrows. Whereas the other, this is more of a waxy formula, whereas the other one's more of a powder formula. I mean, it is powder. It dries to powder, which I like the option of having either. Some days I want powder eyebrows and some days I want waxy eyebrows, okay? The other product I'm absolutely loving that I use today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brows Brow Freeze, you guys. You can see me applying it here. It just works. You know, it's just one of those products that you just did not know you needed. And I have not been in the whole eyebrow, soap brow trend or anything like that as of late. But, you know, this brow freeze really makes me feel as though my brows look styled. I know that sounds wild, but it, I feel like that. I feel like they look really, like, groomed. <laughs> And I don't know, I really like that look. Now, if you have sparse brows or anything like that, I think that this would be nice for the fact that you would be able to fill in your brows and then put this through it to, you know, hold them up in a way. I love that. So, the other thing is, is so... A lot of people may think, oh, well, I have sparse brows that don't really, you know, there's not really much to hold. That could be the case. So you may, you know, it may be better for people who, do, who don't have sparse brows. But in any case, I really like it. I do have more brows and I really feel like they looked really, they really look really groomed and they don't leave a white cast on my eyebrow and they don't flake. You know how like if you use, I don't know if y'all, I used to use, what was it, Maybelline, the clear mascara in the pink and, pink and green tube. You remember that? Y'all remember, y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that used to flake really bad. <laughs> but I used to use it to groom my brows and like keep them up or whatnot. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this does that without the flaking. <laughs> Let's get into eyeshadow, y'all. I have on today an amazing palette. It's so good. It's the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Guys, I have, and you can see me apply on a few shades here. It's just a great, neutral, cool tone palette, yet there's some shades you can just wear, you know, it's a one and done shade, a good highlighting shade, you know, you can make a really pretty smoky eye with it. I mean, there's so many options with this and it's it's a beautiful palette. I would highly recommend this palette. Natasha Denona has great, great formula. So if you're interested in a Natasha Denona palette, I mean, there's so many that are really good. If you're looking for a mini from her, this mini love is so pretty too. I really enjoy this one. It just the formulas are just phenomenal, just really good, really nice. If you're not looking for anything pink or anything like that, the gold palette's so pretty. Uh, there's just a lot of good palettes from her that she's come out with. So those are fantastic. Now, switching to Pat McGrath, if you're looking for a good Pat McGrath palette, okay, the good shades from Pat McGrath, in my personal opinion, are shades like this. These are those special shades that she makes. She makes four of them in a large mothership. The motherships, you can't go wrong, guys. I mean, they're beautiful too. But this palette here, this is so nice. And it's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So this is the Shade Throwing in Eye Ecstasy. And I will put down below which palette it is. This was before she started. I don't even know if she still, if she does put her names of the palettes on here. But I feel like this is such a versatile palette. You could wear one of these on top of, you know, you can pull this out and wear just this palette, or you can use it as toppers to other looks you're doing or anything like that. So if I were gonna recommend a Pat McGrath type palette, 
and you know, I have a few of her motherships. I love them, but this here is something that I reach for a lot. And then I, you guys know, I love the, y'all know I love the Dior quints. I think the Dior quints are just phenomenal. The one uh, new dress that I just reviewed though, that's a little iffy. I'm, I'm going to, I'm waiting on a new one to come in. I will give you an update and a kind of update review of the new quint that I, that I receive or whatnot. But any other quint I've tried has been great. And then I'll recommend one other palette that I really adore. This is a great palette by Charlotte Tilbury. Bella Sophia palette. It's beautiful, guys. I feel like with Charlotte Tilbury, some of her palettes are really good, and then some are kind of like, eh. This one, really good. Phenomenal palette here. And I just really like it. It's This one was gifted, but I just really enjoy the shades here. They just are... Great formulation. I, yeah, it's just really pretty. Really pretty. Just, we'll just watch it here. So you can see. So that's the palette here. Swatched. It's just really pretty. I also really enjoyed the Honeymoon palette by Tom Ford, the First Frost palette by Tom Ford. Those are really gorgeous as well. Trying to think if there, if you have questions about other palettes, let me know and I'll tell you tell you my thoughts down below in the comments or direct message me on Instagram. But these are the ones that I would, you know, I would recommend. I didn't want to overwhelm with eyeshadows, so you know, mascara. I have one mascara because y'all know my, my favorite mascara is by Chanel, and they don't sell that at Sephora. But this Idol Lash mascara by Lancome or Lancome, it's good. It's really good. I wear, I have it on today. You can see me applying it. It's really great. I really enjoy this wand and the formula last. It doesn't, it holds a curl. It lengthens, it volumizes. I like it for the look that I like. I like a more volumizing big lash for me personally. I know that there are other mascaras out there on the market from Sephora that so many people like for a more natural lash. Uh, but for me, this is this is what I'm looking for, if that makes sense. We almost forgot eyeliners. <laughs> My goodness. If you're looking for a good formula for the waterline, this, the Classic Eye Powder Pencil by Charlotte Tilbury, guys. It's not her other one. It's the powder one. This is phenomenal for the waterline. You can see me applying it here in the waterline. I love, love this powder pencil. I repurchased this over and over. She did rename it. I think the shade name is now Brown. Great, great product. Really thoroughly enjoy it. It's never done me wrong and it stays. It does not transfer for me at all. If you're looking for eyeliners, I would highly recommend the Makeup Forever pencils. Those are great too. They have they have all different types of shades. You can use them on the eyes, the lips. They're the artist color pencils. So you'll see me later on wearing or trying on a lip liner because I would they're great for lip liners too. It just depends on what shade you want. Another eyeliner I love is this Tom Ford. This is so good guys. It's stool ended and it has your brush here. And then it has a felt tip on the other end. It's phenomenal. I love this. It stays, it doesn't transfer because I have hooded eyes. Sometimes, a lot of times, it's very difficult to find an eyeliner that does not transfer onto the top lid. Does not do that. It dries, it's easy to work with, great way. It's a great wing, you know, good flicker. <laughs> flicker. It's a good. Y'all know what I mean. All right. I like the Tom Ford eyeliner. <laughs> All right, let's get in. Did we do highlighter? Okay, let's do highlighter. Highlighter, highly recommend the Guerlain. This is so good. Meteorites highlighting palette. It does have that meteorite smell. It's heavenly fragranced, but it's beautiful. I really enjoy this product. It just works, guys. It works and it gives a really beautiful highlight. 
Another highlight that I adore are the Dior Backstage highlighters. I really love the rose gold one. I think it gives a soft, pretty sheen to the skin. Great highlighter here. They're, I mean, they have a few different shades. I love this one. I have the original one too, which is great. I love that. I also absolutely adore the Westman Atelier. These are the super loaded tinted highlighters. Now this one, these are in these pods and these are like the most luxe, beautiful pods ever. But look at this, the formula is gorgeous. I mean, I could just throw this right here and it, I mean, you get, you get it, right? I mean, look at that. I have to do the other side now too, cause I can't have to be even. These are phenomenal. They're luxe, they're beautiful. They're just, mm. They're, they're beautiful to have out on your counter. You know what I mean? I have one in, so that was the in the shade Peau de Rose, Peau de Rose. And this one is in the shade Peau de Soleil. So this is gonna have a more, yeah, they're creamy guys. This is more of a gold gorgeousness. Oh my gosh, look at that, just swatch. Doesn't that just like, isn't that so satisfying? Oh, okay, those are great. Now they do make other highlighters. I think they're really pretty. I would recommend those too. They're, they're different though. They're thinner in texture and consistency. I think if you're looking for a more, this is the lit up highlight stick in Nectar. But if you're looking for a pretty, this is more of a wet look if that makes sense. So if you're looking for something like you can see yourself from from the moon. This is so pretty, but this is gonna give you more of that like natural wet look, if that makes sense. They're different. I personally like the ones in, in this packaging just because I just love those, but I like the other ones too. Lip liner, I would highly recommend a lip liner by Makeup Forever. These are those artist pencils that I was telling you about for eyeliners as well. This one's in the shade, you can see me applying it here, up and down tan, great shade guys, just gorgeous. I also love the Bobbi Brown lip liners, although they are having 25% off on their site right now, so just an FYI. These, I have Rum Raisin, I have, I have Cocoa, which is just like that brownie nude shade. I have Rum Raisin, which is a little bit more ruddy. Oh, they are amazing. I love those two. I personally love these Tower 28 glosses. This was in the shade Cashew. You can see me applying it here. It's so beautiful. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more because, I mean, they're not like the longest lasting, but I mean, it's a gloss, you know? I don't know. I think it's a gloss, right? It's a gloss. So I personally love, I, I love glosses. I like that one. This, guys, is so good. If you're looking at Westman Atelier again, this lip product is Le Rouge. It's the Lip Suede product by Westman. It gives you these different shades here. You can mix and match them. The only thing is, guys, is that you're gonna have to use a lip brush applicator. <laughs> like, you're gonna have to use a brush to apply them, which is a little different, I think, for most people, especially me. But the formula, y'all, is really good. It's really pretty. I really, really like it. It's, it's very nice, it's very nice. As for lipsticks, I do have a few lipsticks that I really enjoy wearing and a few unique shades. This Agatha Orange in the Gucci lipsticks are, it's just a cool orangey shade. Now this is starting to be rivaled. I mean, it has a scent guys, just FYI, it's beautiful packaging too. But this is in the sheer shade. Now it's starting to be rivaled by the brand new Louis Orange in the new, packaging new slim stick it's a sheer formula it doesn't last that long i'm just telling you off the bat but the formulation of this is good it is good it's pretty it's hydrating but these are different y'all they're different and if you're looking for i didn't mention 
from a lip liner perspective, I, have, I didn't mention the Gucci lip liner. Only because, only because I'm still trying them out. I still am. I like them, but there's other lip liners that I think I like better, but I'm still trying them out. So, I mean, it's not to say I don't like them. I like them. Does that make sense what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's good, but it may not be the absolute best one I've ever tried, if that makes sense. Anywho, this is M-I-E-L. This is shade number three in the lip liner. This is the Agatha Orange, and this is the Louis Orange. So just an FYI, if you're looking at any of these, hopefully that is helpful for y'all. I, I like them all. I do. I think they're unique shades. They're really cool. And I really am liking this formula, although it doesn't last a long time for me. I mean, just saying. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I feel like I just ran a marathon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay. I think we've rounded that up. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to help you guys. If you need help with anything, send me a DM. I'm happy to I, I, this is fun. This, I love talking about makeup <laughs> and skincare. So feel free to connect with me down there or on Instagram. I'm at just Chloe Firefly. If you want to come see me there, happy to chat, chat with you there as, as well. So yeah, I will leave all the products that I talked about in the description box so that it's easy for you guys. I do make some commission from affiliate links that are used in those links. So at no extra cost to you, I may a little bit from a purchase from Sephora if you do go through that link. So any contribution or um, any support like that is greatly appreciated. So for any of you guys who do use my links, thank you guys, I really appreciate it. I just wanna, I just wanna make that known that I do appreciate you guys so thankful. So thank you guys a lot for that. All right, y'all. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what your recommendations are below in the comments as well, because I am looking at a lot of things. I am. I, there's a few things in my basket right now and I just can't make up my mind. So let me know. I'm excited to chat with you and happy shopping y'all. I'll leave my latest video right here and I'll see you over there. Bye y'all.